this is David Ezra Stein, your author friend, and I'm here to talk about the artwork in my new book, Because Amelia Smiled. Ever since college, I've been obsessed with life drawing, and I've gone out with friends to draw the world around me. And this is this was drawn in Union Square. It's one of my favorite places to draw, and that ended up being the opening of Amelia. That was uh, where the opening action happens, and she and her family run through Union Square in the rain. So I was really excited to be able to bring my life drawing into my picture book work, which is something that I haven't been able to do in the past. When I sat down to make the art for Amelia, I was playing around with all different styles, and this is one style that I had in my sketchbook that involved crayon. And then one day, when I was drawing in my sketchbook, I made an important discovery. I was drawing chickens playing oboes in my sketchbook, and I had some crayon on the other side, and this man riding a bicycle. And I realized that there was a, another ghostly picture of chickens playing oboes on the opposite page. This was a great discovery, and then I tried to repeat it again on purpose. This time I purposely put crayon on my, a page of my sketchbook, and I drew a picture of Amelia and her family on the other side so that it would press through and make an impression on the opposite page. The discovery I made in my notebook was really exciting, but I wasn't quite satisfied with the quality of the line, so I tried different kinds of paper other than my notebook to spread the crayon on and then draw on the other side of. I tried all different surfaces to create the line that I wanted, and then one day I discovered the best label paper. I ran around the house yelling, label paper, label paper. My wife thought I was crazy, but it turns out that drawing on the back of label paper with crayon and then pressing on the other side makes a delightful line. So that's the story of how I made the art for Because Amelia Smiled. I hope you will go home and try Stein lining. Remember label paper. And I hope you enjoy the book. I think it came out really beautiful. And this is your author friend, David Ezra Stein, signing off.